Okay, this is the assembly video for the uh, upgraded uh, spindle carriage for my DIY router. Uh, here we see the pieces that I've previously cut on the, the router itself that I'm upgrading. And uh, it consists of laminated sections of plywood. And here I'm gluing them up. And uh, here we see we use nuts as uh, alignment spacers uh, for these particular pieces here. You may notice I put little washers in the cutouts there. That's because I ran the cut a little too deep and the washer wasn't centered in between the two, the two pieces. But we smear the glue around and uh, squeeze it together, uh, clamp it up, clean up the excess glue. Now these pieces here are for the uh, router clamp, or the spindle clamp. There's two of those. I try to keep the glue wiped up. Uh, uh, during the process, just to keep it neater. Uh, there I'm cleaning out excess glue from the uh, bolt holes that are uh, machined in the parts. And on to the second one. Oh, the glue I'm using is Type On 2. It's a glue I like, works well. There's water cleanup. Okay, the next piece is the uh, base plate for the router carriage. Uh, again, it's uh, laminated up from two pieces of uh, plywood, three-quarter inch plywood. Uh, here I'm mixing up some epoxy. Uh, that'll hold in uh, some bolts that'll be going into uh, two of those cutouts you see there on the pieces. And then more of the uh, type on dude glue. That center recess there is a recess for the uh, jack screw to slide into that will that lifts the router up and down on the uh, tracks. That'll be more apparent uh, a little bit further in the, into the video. Uh, the larger holes are for a cam system I designed uh, to tighten the uh, steel V bearings onto the angle iron rails uh, that we, you will see shortly. More smearing the glue around. Part of the clamping on this is I'm going to use uh, some of the bolts, uh, V-bearing bolts, uh, going through those holes, which will, one, pull the pieces together and also align them perfectly together. I'm using a uh, fine thread 3 8 uh, rod here with uh, nuts uh, locked tight at end, because uh, I had the, uh, the thread of the lot lay, laying around and I didn't have to go out and I'll buy any uh, 3 8 bolts to do this. This longer uh, threaded rod is uh, will be part of the uh, extrude. It comes out further out the back than the other ones. Uh, that'll be a mount for the uh, x-axis motor drive. Uh, that'll be in part two 
on the assembly sequence. Right here I'm going to realize that second long bolt I put in is a little bit too short and I'm going to end up pulling out here shortly. Bolts are tightened up, cleaning up the squeeze out. Uh, it's important to get any excess glue out of the uh, larger holes there in the uh, in the pieces. And clamping areas where I don't have uh, bolts going through. And again, cleaning up the excess clean, uh, glue in the uh, round recess holes. Oh, here I'm pulling out that uh, uh, one bolt that was a little too short. All right, that's the major glue up for this assembly. I'm going to let it sit overnight and then continue the next day. All right, next day, uh, here's the pieces all glued up, ready to go. Now these are the uh, V bearings for the uh, X and the Y motion. And they fit into these little pieces we I machined out, which is uh, sets the uh, V bearings off somewhat. And you can rotate them in those uh, holes and get a cam action. And you can have fine, a nice fine adjustment uh, tightening the V bearings onto the angle iron rails. Here I'm gluing in the, uh, adding glue into the recesses so that there's no gaps or air gaps in there so they compress up real nice when I tighten them. That one was a little hard to push in, so I'm using a nut to push it all the way down. And you can see how they're adjusted. Feel free to slow that section down on the video. I'm new to this video stuff, so uh, I'm learning. I don't know how to uh, speed up or slow down sections of video yet. Now those uh, wooden round cam pieces, they were uh, before all this began, I made sure that they fit correctly and sanded them down because uh, they're coming off of the uh, CNC, they may have been a little too tight. Uh, so I made sure they were fitted correctly. I numbered them for the correct holes that they were fitted to. And then I coated the cams with uh, candle wax as a lubricant so they have a nice slide action to it. Okay, here we're moving into the router clamps. They are going to being attached to the angle iron rails. The clamps not only hold the uh, the router uh, securely, but they also securely position and hold the rails in place. That will become apparent here as everything's bolted together. Uh, the thread rod in this case is a uh, uh, five sixteenths, and all the nuts are uh, red lock tighted into place that you already see in place on the threaded rod. These uh, washers, the lock washer nuts were a little little tricky to get in in that little recess, but they went in okay in the end. Uh, 
that cutout area there allows the, uh, the wooden clamps to uh, compress onto the router. And you notice these bolts here extend all the way through. So uh, some nuts on the outside will uh, compress the, uh, the wood clamps onto the router. It's important to have these pieces 90 degrees to the uh, angle iron rails. So uh, that's what I'm adjusting here, making sure the measurements are correct. As far as measurements, uh, I may uh, publish a plan set for this at one point and I would have all that particular information. Okay, the next part uh, of this assembly is the top bearing plate for the uh, Z-axis motion. That's a 10 millimeter uh, Acme pitch screw and it's going to fit inside that 10 millimeter uh, inside diameter bearing which is going to be sandwiched between those two pieces. Uh, these threaded rod sections here are um, going to be part of the uh, assembly that mounts the motor or secures the motor to the uh, jack screw. And that'll be uh, in a future video. I'll get into, get into more of that. Those are our furniture bolt nuts. They're uh, <laughs> I had to go get the right uh, Allen wrench. So that's what's holding everything together for the bearing plate. Now that is a threaded compression nut for an Acme 10 millimeter uh, threaded rod. Couple spacers and then a compression coupling on the top side securely mounts the uh, jack screw into the bearing plate. And then we tighten the uh, compression nut onto the shaft. That'll carry all the thrust load for the Z axis motion or the weight of the router as it's moving up and down. And using a more 5 16 uh, threaded rod and nuts, it gets bolted to the top side of the, uh, the angle irons there. Oh, uh, this nut is inserted into that piece of wood there. Uh, added a little glue to fill in any ga any uh, voids that may be in there, and also keep the that nut from rotating. Now it's time to attach the router clamp to the uh, router uh, to the base plate there. Uh, that nut has uh, it's adjustable. It's adjustable so it can move around for uh, minute adjustments. Here I'm loosening the uh, cam nuts for the z-axis motion. Well, we slide in the V-bearings, we thread the rod in, uh, tighten the V-bearings onto the angle irons there, make sure they're snug but not too snug, and then we tighten it from the back. And this locks the V-bearings into, into adjustment and end of place. Now we're going to low the, lower the assembly all the way down and then we're going to make sure the, uh, the jack nut there is uh, adjusted so there's the easy motion on the jack screw and then that gets tightened down.
and uh, that's the assembly. Well, that's the assembly of the router carriage. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the next one in the video series will be the motor assembly for the router carriage and mounting to the gantry. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. If you like what you watched, hit the like button. It's appreciated. Thanks and have a great day.